Hello, hello, hello. Marcia Ben here from Think Premium GE, giving you a quick little tidbit here. And it's really to encourage you to ignore the naysayers, even when you're afraid. Now, and I'm going to take off my glasses for this, because look there. Guess what? In life and in business, you're going to go through rough patches. And I don't know about you, but it's always in the middle of a rough patch that someone decides to say something particularly slick. You ever just had that one comment when you were already having a rough period, whether it's about you or someone that you care about or your business, worse if it's your business, that just gets on your skin a little bit more. And guess what? It happens to everybody. We're all human. And, you know... <laughs> God has, has been working on me because there are a lot of times where I would hear stuff and I would react. God has really been working on my heart in a lot of areas. But what I would say is, and this is something you need to handle with your faith, is that you need to learn to see people as people who may need help or grace versus someone to just attack. It's hard. It really is. And a lot of times I'm guilty of overanalyzing things. I'll take the blame for things that I really shouldn't have taken the blame on just for the sake of peace. But, you know, at the end of the day, there will be some people that will just deliberately be vessels for the devil to use to upset you. Right? There's just some people that are just there to test you. It happens to the best of us. And and, and God is still working on me in that area. I'm not perfect, trust me. But I will say is you never want to put yourself in a position where you're wrong. Because once you react, you're wrong. Even if you're at fault before and that person overreacts, which that can happen, we're on human. The moment you get to their low level of communicating, you are wrong as well. And you never want to be on that level. I don't care who it is. It could be somebody who's higher than you or below you. The best thing to do is to handle it tactfully. Still remain calm. It's hard. You still want to remain calm. And where you can, distance yourself from that person. And there's some Bible verses here that I want to share with you that were actually very encouraging for me. You know, even as I go through my own walk with God. There are moments where, yeah, I get tested too. And it, it, it is rough. It gets to anybody. But there's one of them in particular that I like in Joshua. It's called Joshua. And it's actually one of the quotes that really guided me through a rough time. And in the quote it said, and it's to be strong and courageous, but I'm using the Trust the Good News Bible. And it says, be just just be determined, be confident, and make sure you obey the whole law that my servant Moses gave you. Do not neglect any part of it, and you will succeed where you go. In other words, be bold, strong, and courageous, right? And these things will happen. There will be people that you won't agree with, and they're going to say comments. They're going to make comments that will get on your skin or may make you afraid to push forward. You might get the little snickers. You might get the haughty eyes. You might get the attitude. The face is, don't stop. I remember, <laughs> now I've never sung in, um, in front of anybody outside of my bathroom show before. So I was asked to either give a contribution or sing a song. So I decided to sing a song at an event. It was my very first time. And well, you know, the bathroom singing, I don't know how it went in public. It didn't seem like it went too well, but I got the hearty eyes. You got the cross talk. You got the snick. You didn't get, I didn't get any snickers. I never got any sniffles, but I got the hearty eyes, I got the attitude, and I got the cross sock, right? So what I did was I just continued. Was it awkward in the moment? Yes, but you still persevered, and I still made it through it. If I just ran away like a coward, I'd have looked crazy. I've done presentations where you get those sneakers, you get a cross eye, you get a hearty eyes, you get the attitude, you get the weird questions. You just have to be bold, strong, and courageous. And as long as you're doing what's pleasing with God, and you're doing it from a good place, you just have to take it there and understand that not everybody would be on your side.
that one. And oh, the King James version of that quote says, only to thou be strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left that those may prosper wherever you go. Yeah. It's a nice verse. It's actually one of my favorite verses. Another one that I want to share with you that I, I really like what the Bible says about it there is you no know, again, you have some people that are just there to test you. They, they serve no real purpose in your life than to test you. And I don't know about you, but there are a lot of seconds that go into the day, you know. Let me just do a quick check here. Number of seconds in a day. Now, there are 86,400 seconds in a day. Now, what if I gave you 86,400 US dollars and I took one of those dollars and spat on it and kicked it on the ground and trampled on it and wrote all sorts of things on it, would you throw away on 86,399 dollars just to get back that one second that I missed up? No, don't do that with your time either. I, I mean, I, I know it's hard. I mean, we're all human, but one of the things I've had to learn how to do is whenever somebody would say something slick towards me, or that would really hurt my feelings or would upset me, I'd pray about it. And I'd pray that, I'd pray for forgiveness for the person and for myself, because I needed to learn to forgive myself in that moment for not reacting the way I'd want to react, because trust, some people can be crazy. And I would also, you know, pray that they get deliverance, pray that they get the guidance that they need to be better people. Because sometimes some people, they just, they just need something that you can't give them, that only God can give them that. And you, you just have to pray that God gives them whatever he needs to give them and pray that God will handle the situation in the best way possible, that he gives you divine guidance and wisdom as to how to best handle it. And the verse that I actually like right here is looking at each argument as the start of breaking a dam. Because you never want to get into a back and forth with them. It's not worth it. It's a, it's a fool's error. And it says in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 13, again from the Good News Bible, the start of an argument is like the first break in a dam. Stop it before it goes any further. Now, I don't know if you've watched any movies. I haven't watched too many, admittedly. But if you see a dam breaking, that's usually not a good thing. So if you see a crack in a dam, you want to fix it early. Because if you let it go and you let it explode and you let it get carried away, a whole, a whole town can wash away and your cold water source just went down somebody's driveway. And that, that probably is the best part. If it doesn't take away somebody's house or a couple of houses in the process. And you want to view arguments that way. Now, I'm not saying that you should never defend yourself. Absolutely. Some people, you have to defend yourself. Some people, some people you have to defend yourself. But I want you to be cautious in how you do it because the best way to win an argument is to not get into one. That's one. And two, not every battle is worth the war. Some people just have to let them win the battle. It's even to just be silent and behind the scenes you do your thing. Better you do that than you engage on their frequency because they're going to pull you down to their level and kill you with experience never worth it it's hard trust me it is it is hard but for some people you just you just have to keep it quiet and you just make a move behind the scenes because some some people all they can do is pray for them that's all they can do is pray for them and you keep a far distance that's that's really all they can do now there is a verse in Titus it's Titus chapter 3, verse 10. I'm actually going to read it, if I can find it. Yes, at least you can see that I'm actually using my physical Bible. Being able to find things has actually gotten quite better. I'm improving. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see what you see. Found it. Okay. 
And Titus chapter 3, verse 10 reads, Give at least two warnings to those who cause divisions, and then have nothing more to do with them. Again, give at least two warnings to those who cause divisions, then have nothing more to do with them. You can warn somebody and you can stand up there, so give them two warnings. After that, they made a choice. They made a conscious decision to do something to upset you, so they made a conscious decision to deal with the consequences. Move on. And again, there's nothing wrong with not responding in the moment and acting behind the scenes. So guess what? Not all battles are won with guns. Some of them are won more discreetly. And at the end of the day, you always want to be on the right. Especially if it's a situation where you deal with somebody in business. You ever hear the Jamaican proverb, when you're handing a lion mouth, take time, draw it out. Just uh, move in silence. I just take time and you just quiet. You don't have to respond. To that. Some, some people don't deserve a response. Honestly, some people just don't deserve a response. And the next proverb that, oh, the next Bible verse that I want to share with you that I actually really like, I, I gain a lot of value from this one. And this one is actually from Philippians. Now, this is a Bible verse that I discovered post being baptized. And I thought it was very useful. And I like it here. And it says, may you always be just. Hold on. In conclusion, my brothers and sisters, fill your minds with those things that are good and that deserve praise. Things that are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, and honorable. This is from the Good News Bible. In other words, you don't want to ruminate on things that are not going to help you. So like I said before, there are 86,400 seconds in a day. You never want to waste all of that on something that took a second or 10 seconds out of day. It's not worth it. Is it hard? Yes. Especially if the person really hurt the feelings or really said something that got under your skin. Absolutely. You never want to waste an entire day on it. Note it for what it is. Accept it for what it is. Accept that they mistreated you. And determine how you're going to act. I would say pray about it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with saying a prayer in 10 seconds in your mind. While that person saying something nasty, you can use 10 seconds and pray. You'll be so surprised. How oh, that has helped you. Like, trust me, those 10 seconds of prayer has have prevented me from getting in many arguments. 10 seconds. That's all you just 10 seconds. Just, just pray for God to deliver in that moment. Pray for God to just allow you to respond and not react. You will be so surprised how that can help you. And the last one that I want to share with you is Proverbs 22, verse 24. And this is something that you want to bear in mind. Don't make friends with people who have hot, violent tempers. And this is why you don't want to respond to everything that gets you upset. You will scare off potential opportunities. Because again, don't make friends with people who have hot, violent tempers. If you're, if you're a hothead, listen, hothead will burn the people around them you know, and it will cause unnecessary trouble. And people who are usually broke are usually hot tempered. You ever notice that? Pay attention to it. You'll scare up good opportunities, man. Not everything is a reaction. And if you're if you or you are around someone that's always hot and you find yourself getting into and you get into conflicts more than the regular person does over stuff that really wasn't worth it at the end of the day. All right. So that's pretty much it for me. I hope this helps. Guess what? Again, some people just need Jesus. They don't need a confrontation. So protect yourself, stay prayed up, trust in God, and just keep it pushing. But just a gentle reminder, I do offer digital marketing services like social media marketing, email marketing, blogging, other forms of sales copywriting. I have two online courses. I offer business consultation services, which is great, coming up to the new year. and I also have an online store where I sell products that you're likely to need in the next two weeks. Anyway, like laundry detergent, fabric softener, um, all-purpose cleaner, laundry detergent, bathroom cleaner, kitchen cleaner, protein powders, new replacement shakes, etc. So 
let me know using the contacts below if you need anything. And if you found this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe. Like the video so I know that you liked it and the algorithm can favor it. Comment down below so I know what parts are really useful for you or if there is anything that you'd like to see me add in the future, subscribe so you get to be up to date with great videos like this and share it with a friend. I mean, my goal is to reach 800,000 people this year and I would love your help. All right, so that's it for me. Again, I'm Marcy from Think Premium J. Take care and remember to never stop dreaming. Bye-bye.